Good morning, guys. Hope everyone slept good. It's so bright and early today. I am exhausted. So, we do have to be quiet. My wife, Ariana, is asleep. I am just going to start off with my hair today. I'm just going to put it up into two French braids. I'm usually leaving it down or picking it all the way up like in a bun or something but today is an exciting day I got promoted effective yesterday so today will be my first day on the job same hotel just different position but I am very excited very anxious I'm usually not up this early which as you can probably tell, I got no sleep last night because I'm so used to going to sleep so late that it's just going to be a little bit difficult to get back into the routine of going to sleep early, waking up early, but that's okay. So I sped up this process a little bit because I have a lot of hair. It's extremely long. Yeah, my arms get tired. <laughs> um, But yeah, I'm just going to these braids and do a little bit of makeup she's snoring pull some hairs down I do have a lot of like flyaway hairs and my coworker one of my coworkers is always like I need to get your edges right and I'm like no girl I don't do that I just let them take their own path <laughs> just kidding all right, now on to the next. I'm telling you this is very timing time consuming. Um, in August we went to DC and I actually strained my hair. I kid you not, almost an hour. By the time I was done, I didn't even want to go out anymore. <laughs> all right, all done. Just gonna pull down some hairs. So now we're going to start off with my Mary Kay eye gel cream. I've shown you guys before. It just awakens my under eye. It's very like, not tingly, but kind of almost like, like a cooling sensation, like a mint almost. I love this stuff. It's so nice. And it's going to last me forever which is even better. But yeah. I love how I just look around my whole desk for everything. I've also shown you guys my Time Wise. It's a moisturizing cream. A little bit will take you so far. I just rub it all over my skin. My skin gets so red so easily. Guys, I've been breaking out. I'm so, so sad. Like, I don't know what it is. You can see it, like, sad. I've also shown you guys my chapstick, my satin lips. Do that. And there it goes. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad because she's such a light sleeper. It's so hard to be quiet. But she'll be alright. She gets to sleep in a little bit later than me, so whatevs. Now I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. brow pencil, and it is in the color Deep Brown. I have told you guys I like to go light on my brows for work. Um... My eyebrows are already bushy, so I'm just brush them out with the spoolie. There we go. On to the next. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. making some weird noise I'm sure snoring probably 
Next, I'm going with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Yes, I know I don't have any foundation on. Um, like I've told you guys in my videos before, I don't wear a lot of makeup. Um, so I just like to do the concealer <clears throat> underneath my eyes to kind of, you know, look awake, hide my bags, um also another thing that i want to say is i do have the travel size um i like to test products out before i actually buy you know th the full thing just to see how it works on my skin and i do love this concealer so i do want to get like the actual um bigger size but now i'm just blending my concealer out acting like i know what i'm doing I 100% do not know what I'm doing, but that's all right. Blend, blend, blend. I read this thing, if you start like the outer part of your eye going in, the majority of the concealer is going to stay on the inner so inner corner of your eye, which is where you want it. Um, so that's what I try to do just to hide, you know, not that I have dark circles, but it's obviously it doesn't look like that because, you know, my under bag, my under eyes are ridiculous, but so I'm just going to pop a little on my lid. I usually do a actual eyeshadow primer and I use a Wet n Wild one. It's literally a dollar and I've been using it for years. I absolutely love it everything sticks whether it be eyeliner like everything it's so freaking amazing but i'm out so i'm gonna use my concealer and i'm not going heavy on the eyeshadow so it doesn't even matter what i'm using today next is my banana light powder i love this stuff it's very very fine and it just i love it it doesn't necessarily um make my under eyes creasy or anything like that it's just so nice it doesn't make me feel dry i love it i've been using it for a few months now and yeah just blend it all out yes next is my sephora contouring palette I am looking for the name and I don't think it has one so we're just gonna skip that I do have a little kabuki brush um my wife bought me like this big old makeup set when we first started dating she thought she was being the sweetest thing ever which she was but it's not like a name brand or anything the brushes are actually really really soft for them being just I don't even know where she got it from to be honest but that's what I'm using I start off with the brown and kind of just blend it onto my cheeks. Next, I love to blend the brown and the pink, my blush and bronzer. I love the way it makes me look. I've been doing this for a very long time. And I just, I don't know. It doesn't make me look too peachy and I don't, I don't necessarily need blush because my cheeks are very, very red all the time. And since I'm not wearing foundation, you can totally see it. But I like this look. It's cute for me anyway. All right. So next, what is next? Next, I will just kind of blend it so it's not so harsh because I'm not trying to look like a clown, okay? Next is my eyeshadow. It is a Mary Kay palette. Um, but it does not have colors on the back only because those are magnets so I can change them out whenever I want. Um, those are just the colors I have in there right now. That neutral one, it looks so like almost translucent in the pan. But when I put it on my eyelids, it almost looks like a peach color and I love it. I wear it almost every day like it's so freaking cute. I don't know if you can really tell in camera. I'm very, very light skinned, so it may be a little hard. <clears throat> but it does not look like it does in the pan, and it's just so pretty. 
I love it. I love, love, love this color. Just blend it out a little bit more. And I'm not doing any line eyeliner today either. Um, like I said, I don't like to go all out for work. But yeah. Cheese. <laughs> you can just tell I'm so freaking exhausted. Put a little under my eye. Not that it makes the biggest difference because it's the lightest color ever, but I don't know. I like to add a little color. Next is my eyelashes eyelashes just make the face I also hate that glue it's just ugh, so hard to work with <clears throat> but yeah so I'm pretty excited for my new position um, you know it's it's definitely gonna be a challenge but I love the challenge and I'm 100% open to it. I cannot put eyelashes on without tweezers. <laughs> eyelashes without tweezers is almost impossible for me, like absolutely impossible. It's crazy. And there you go, both lashes on gonna set my face yes I know I don't have a lot on but like I said that is my makeup look for today it does change daily sometimes I'll wear liners sometimes I wear nothing but uh, mascara sometimes I wear nothing but eyelashes it just it changes so yeah by the way guys I keep looking over there cuz she just makes so much noise it's funny like it's funny how much noise she makes and she's also a light sleeper like come on you can't do both next is some mascara on the bottom lash can't go without that it's crazy how much simple little things like that can change your whole look for the day Just being silly all right guys so this is my look I know I have a blob of glue on my eyelid um so that is the end of today's video I know it was a little bit different I obviously had to be quiet today is my first day in my new position same hotel same everything um but yeah, driving to work. I am running a little bit late. Uh, I was supposed to be there at nine. It is like 8.55. I think they'll be okay. Um, I recently moved up here to Jersey um, and literally I think like maybe a month in, I had no idea it was illegal to use your cell phone. Literally a month in, I got two tickets, not one, but two. Um, one was for using my cell phone, just kind of, not texting and driving, but like on it, on it. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? He's like, you should research the state you're going to live in, which, okay, fine, that's true. But I'm like, couldn't even give me a freaking warning. I've had so many warnings back home, <laughs> but it is what it is. It is so cold today. It's gloomy and I don't. I'm actually, I'm not nervous for today because I do know more or less like what I'm doing. Obviously each property is different, but I was AGM back in Texas. What makes me like anxious though, the owners and the management is two different companies, I guess. The pressure is so real from them. Like it almost scares me. Um, owners kind of make it seem like they're gonna drop us as a management to run that Marriott so if the owners drop us what the hell happens to us like are we all fired do we just wait for a new I don't even know no clue 
we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, the, the pressure is just like on like 100. But yeah, by the way, I usually have a giant cup of coffee with me in the morning. Um, but I'm just gonna wait till I get to work. So we actually sell Starbucks inside the hotel. So that is my go-to every single day. I like to drink a chai tea latte iced with some vanilla in there or a caramel macchiato. So I'm just gonna hold my camera and I'm gonna try to hold it down here. Uh, yeah, she was like, uh, you should try with caramel sauce, like the, not syrup, but it's like actual sauce. You should try it with caramel sauce and I was like, okay. So I tried it, it was freaking delicious, but the only thing I don't like about that, the caramel is so thick, it all just falls to the bottom. Um, so yeah, so another guest, I think. I don't think it was my coworker, I think it wasn't like a guest. She's like, you should try it with vanilla and I was like, all right. So that's how I drink it now. Um, and I always do the grande size. I always finish the grande so quick. Um, oh, there's a deer on the side of the road. I always finish the grande so quick, but every single time I get a venti, I drink like that much of it. Like, I don't know what it is. And I make my own drink, so it's not like, you know, with Starbucks, when you get the extra big one, like you're kind of just paying for extra milk. That's not how I make my drink. Like I make it, you know, actually like, even and I just cannot like I never ever finish it when I get the venti I don't even think I drink how much is in a grande size cup <laughs> I don't know that's just me but I am pulling into work guys so that is the end of today's video for um if you guys have any comments or leave everything in the comment section and I'll see you next time bye